Hampshire Police have scrapped a hate crime awareness course. The force were accused of policing free speech rather than real crime after a controversy involving an army veteran. You might have seen this one. This was the one uh, that was live streamed on the internet. He was arrested for retweeting a meme. That's basically a picture for those uh, that are wondering what I'm talking about. It was... Basically, uh, it was some flags that was put together in the shape of a swastika. Uh, the police were not amused by that. Apparently, it caused anxiety to someone with that tweet. Uh, and it was all live, uh, live streamed. I think there was about five police there, and it went absolutely viral. Anyway, the police have now scrapped, or that, that force has now scrapped that course. Uh, a lot of campaigners are really happy, saying it's been a victory over work crime and that police should get back to tackling real crime. David, where do you stand on it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm shocked that they had this hate crime awareness course in the first place. But I don't think this is just Hampshire. It seems to be something going on all over the country with all police forces. But I think we were all shocked at seeing this poor army veteran who'd done nothing more than tweet a picture or retweet a picture. Um, and then they came round and arrested him and then wanted to send him on a course, a re-education course. I mean, this is the sort of thing you expect to happen in China or the old Soviet Union, not in England, in Hampshire. You know, you should have free speech. And this is someone apparently complained that they were offended by what he said. Well, you know, people can get offended all the time. It shouldn't be a crime to be offended by something. But this does come down to the Communications Act 2003, Section 127, which says if someone considers something to be grossly offensive, then it's a crime. But the question is, what's the line between offensive and grossly offensive? Because we've seen other things which I would call grossly offensive, where people have just been let off with, a, with nothing. You know, there was... So what, what's the line in terms of what should be an offence and what shouldn't in your mind? You're saying offensive and grossly mm. offensive. Should being offensive be a crime? No, it shouldn't be a crime. I mean, I think you should have the free speech to say whatever you like, provided you are not... Um, um, incentivizing violence, you know, inciting violence. Uh, that should be where the line is. But, you know, you, you, this kind of thing, that the picture that he retweeted, uh, it was, a, you know, what's it, some pride flags in the shape of a swastika. I mean, that, yeah, it's offensive to some people. Other people find it funny, but he's not inciting violence. So this is something the police should have nothing to do with. It's a waste of police time. And frankly, the police should be out catching real criminals, fraudsters and burglars and people who do assault and murderers and rapists and things like that.